when you talk to Ricky for the first time following this incident, is it more of like an, hey, man, I told you we shouldn't have done it, or are you just, yeah. just apologizing? Well, I was apologizing too, but I like, oh, mean, I told you we couldn't do it. I fucking told you. And uh, he agreed. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I would think he would have to after that, my yeah. God. Well, a lot of people point to this moment, Jake, as a huge turning point, though. If we can take any positive out of this, uh, yeah. a lot of people say that this was it, the moment it, that all of a sudden it's like, okay, Jake is cold-blooded. Jake, Jake's killer. That's what yes. they thought. You know, Jake's a killer, and he catapulted me from, you know, being on the first couple of matches to the main event overnight. And, uh, you know, I can never thank Ricky enough because basically he helped me build my house. <laughs> uh, that that's really it too i mean like you said overnight you are you're established as this really yeah. nasty vicious ruthless heel uh do you think that you could have would have still gotten there regardless of if eventually this but there there was nobody i could do that to that would get the same same reactions mm -hmm. you know maybe if i did it to hogan i'd get a reaction but it wouldn't be the same as doing it to ricky because ricky was ricky ricky was that handsome boy that Everybody wanted to be around, and every father wanted him to be the, the son, you know, with his daughter, and they were all about it. You know, they were just 100% behind Ricky because he was such a gentleman and such a good-looking guy and great shape and great work. He had nothing negative about him. 